What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about Adobe Premiere Pro's newest update, 15.2. And I'm going to talk about my favorite feature inside this newest update. Now let's get started. Now if you enjoy watching these videos and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. So the newest feature that I want to talk about today that they've added in 15.2 is the ability to add gradients to text inside the graphics panel. Text and titles are so important. You see them all the time in movies and YouTube videos and documentaries and anything. You've always had the ability to customize them in the sense of adding color or borders or drop shadows and that sort of thing. But now we can add gradients. So I'm going to show you how that works. So first I'm going to change my layout. Right now I'm in the editing layout, which you can see here at the top. I'm gonna come over to the graphics layout and it kind of shifts it around, plus it's brought out the essential graphics panel. So I'm gonna come back here. I wanna add some text right here in the middle of this, this shot. So I'm gonna grab the text tool, double click that. And then I'm gonna click here just in the middle that says text. So obviously it's pretty large. I'll grab the selection tool and bring it down but I'm gonna keep it large just for the sake of this tutorial. So we obviously have all the regular abilities you have, change the color, add a stroke, which would be like the border, add a background or shadow, but I'm gonna focus on the color. If we double click this like we normally would, we could be able to change the color to whatever we want. Say we want a nice bright blue turquoise, and then you click okay and that's it. But now there's a new thing you can see here, there's a drop down menu that says solid, and if you click on it, it goes to a linear gradient and also a radial gradient. I'm gonna click on linear gradient. So now there's a whole new menu here. So as you can already see, here's the blue that we had, you can see it fades down to a white and that represents here it's blue on top and then it fades down to white so if you want to do something basic like just add more white or more blue there's a little triangle here that's the midpoint slider you can grab and you can see it adjust live in the text and if you want to change the colors so let's just say instead of the blue we'll double click here on this end and let's just say we want it to be a uh, yellow or yeah bright yellow click OK so now we have that bright yellow that fades to the white I'm gonna double click on this again and say with this, we wanna add a little more white, so we'll bring the midpoint over. And let's just say the two colors aren't enough. Say you want something more on top. So let's slide this down a little bit. And right in this blank space, or wherever you want, you can do it here, anywhere in the slider you can do it, but I'm gonna to choose to do it here on the end. I'm gonna double click and it's gonna add another marker. So this one, I wanna make it dark. And then you can slide that middle yellow anywhere you like. And then now there's a new midpoint for these two colors. And then there's a separate midpoint for these two colors. So I'm gonna grab, so I just want a hint of the black. So I'm gonna slide it over so it's mostly just the yellow. Let me slide this down here. So now you can see it has the darker color, has the yellow, and then the white. And you can add more of these if you want. Say you wanna add another one here, but you realize, okay, maybe that's too much. So if you wanna delete that, as long as it's highlighted, you can click a delete here and or delete on your keyboard, or you can literally just grab it and drag it off. So now we have these three colors. Let's say we wanna go back just to two colors. So I'm gonna grab this one and delete it. So now we just have the black and white. I'm gonna slide it down so it's more dark and then just a little bit of white at the end. So let's just say instead of this white, we want it to be transparent, we want it to be see-through. There's, so there's not a white there, it's just the black fading into the screen. So this part is kind of faded into what's behind it, which is the, the lab person. So the top section here is the opacity sliders. So if I click on this, now this is active. All of these, all of these tools affect what's highlighted here blue. If I switch to this one, which would be the darker side, I can play with that one and play with the opacity on that. But I wanna keep the dark and I wanna affect only the white. So I'm gonna click over here on the end and there's an opacity here, slider. You can grab or just type in and type what you want, but I'm gonna slide it, grab and just move to the left. So now the opacity is at zero for this bottom one. So now you can tell here it's fading. Well, let's say we want it a little more prominent. So I'm gonna bring this midpoint down. So it's just like the color blend, but we're gonna do this with the opacity instead. So now we have the dark, but it fades away and becomes more see-through. So I'm gonna click on this last marker. I'm gonna bring it back up to 100. So now we're back just to those typical black and white. Now, instead of the fade going exactly even, so you wanna change the angle. So you want to come at it left to right from the top right corner down to the left or vice versa. Highlight this again. And instead of playing with the opacity, come down and change the angle. And you can see in the text, the direction of the gradient changes. So you can customize that in any way you want. I'm gonna put it back down to 90. Now, of course, this is just inside. This is just for the fill color. So say you decide to do a nice little blend like this. You can click okay, and you can still add a stroke, which would be like a border. Activate that by checking the box. You can double click here. And this way you can add some fun colors. Let's just say we'll do a red. 
And now you can have that red outline and you can still add a shadow or customize it whichever way you normally would but inside you have the ability to add gradients which adds a whole new level of customization and visual appeal this would be really effective if say you're doing a documentary about a sports team or a, a group of different teams that have different colors when you introduce that specific team or players or anybody associated with that team you can do the team colors blended or mixed in whichever way you want inside the text so it just adds another element of description and visual connection so that being said, this is my favorite feature inside the newest update 15.2. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. That being said, have a great day. Later.